Our first guest is an Academy Award winning actress. She stars in her own brand new television program on a, uh, another network, of course, another network. <laughs> but you can see it uh, October 10th. Here's the lovely, the leggy Gina Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. As Thank always, you. you look wonderful. Thank you. I think the, uh, I saw you on television uh, uh, when you were on the Emmy Award show, and uh, boy, you had this dress on. Well, you, you remember the dress you had on. <laughs> or a dress you almost had on. Dave, and, I... and, and the thing was uh, uh, transparent. You could see right through it. <laughs> Dave, I, I'm shocked that you bring that up. Shocked. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. You know, you know what it was. I'll, I'll tell you, Dave. That what it was is the night... I've never been to the Emmys before. I find I, that hard to believe. I never had. Really? And, uh, no, well, no way you've been to before. Not to the Emmys. No, the Oscars. I know. Yeah. Well, you're an Academy anyway. Award winner, for God's sakes. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. But... Uh, but... The thing was, I, I was a little nervous about going, and I had a nightmare the night before mm. that I went out on stage uh, in my underwear. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to make sure that that did not happen. <laughs> Do you mind if I uh, show this? No, by all means. No, I'm right. You can see right through this. <laughs> I mean, it's lovely, and you certainly look lovely uh, in, in the dress, but boy, oh boy, now, is that, a, is that an expensive item? Uh, the, uh, yeah. Now, do you own it, or you just uh, bought it for uh, the evening and then took it back, or...? <laughs> you, you probably no, can't take I these tried, back, You any. know, I tried to do that, and then seen that I wore but it. But it, it, everybody went crazy. Did people go nuts about this? You get a lot of calls about that dress? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did, I did. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I learned um, that, actually, I was the victim of a plot. Are you my... <laughs> you might be shocked here, but it's another insidious plot. I know you've been following the campaign and everything, uh -huh. but uh, and I'm a big um, supporter of, of uh, Gore, of course, and um, <clears throat> that was actually uh, a subliminal ad for Bush. <laughs> Republicans, what will they not do? I'm a, I'm a victim. Subliminable mole. It was a subliminable oh. Would it have killed you to wear it tonight? <laughs> huh? Well, enough about that. Enough about that. You must have been uh, watching the Olympics because I don't know if people understand this about you, but a couple of, two and a half years ago, you started uh, t competitively taking up uh, bow and arrow archery. Three and a half, yeah. Three and a half, yeah. and, and you're ranked like 13th in the, in the United States or something? Yeah. Ha had a shot at getting on the uh, United States archery team. Well, uh, yeah, I, ma I made it to the, uh, to the trials mm -hmm. last year. Did, did the whole thing begin just as kind of like a fun thing, as a hobby, as kind of a goofer, where you one day you woke up and you said, this is it, by God, I, now, I'm, now I'm going someplace. Yeah, I... <laughs> I was thinking, what can I do with my life? What can I still take up at my right. age and get in the Olympics? Right. And uh, archery. Yeah. So. And, and, now, and, and people must say to you, geez, it's too bad you weren't on the Olympic team, but, but I'm guessing <laughs> you, you think, well, no, it's not too bad, but I mean, I'm, I'm having plenty of fun anyway. No, they do. That, that's pretty hilarious that a lot of people recently have said, you must be really disappointed mm -hmm. that you're not there. But, at, you know, at the time that I tried out, I'd been doing it just a little over two years, and... I think the chances of making the team were pretty, right. uh, pretty slim. You haven't been doing this since you were three years old. Exactly. You're not a dedicated young Olympian, exactly. Right, right. It would have been fine, but it just didn't, yeah. Now, now yeah. Uh, how, what events are there? It's, it's uh, this one. I know this one. <laughs> and, and what other one do you, do there, you have? There's not much else you do with, with a bow and arrow. Is it mostly targets? Yeah. They don't, they don't hunt in the Olympics. They don't. <laughs> They don't turn a couple of guys they, loose. They All right, let them go. <laughs> wow, that'd be something. What pound, what pound bow do you use? What's uh, what's the tension on th that thing? Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Now that's a lot, isn't it? Well, it's it's pretty average, but you know, over the course of a day, that's a lot. Uh, and work. do they have these amazing new laser sight devices that? No, it's not, not allowed. Not for competition. It's not allowed in the Olympics. Yeah. and I know I've done it just fooling around when I was a kid, and you let it go, and you always get your. Uh, oh, yeah. You get it. It hurts it's very like painful. hell. It just goes. <laughs>
I mean, the string wax across yeah. it. Yeah, very painful. Yeah, protective equipment, I'll bet, of for course. that. Yeah. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. what, what is a round like when, it, when it's time to go? What do you do? Uh, well, uh, you know, what was interesting was that uh, exactly a year ago in Sydney, they had test trials sure. for all their facilities right. there, and they invited all the uh, Olympians and me um, to, <laughs> to go. <laughs> I'm not sure why, to go down there and have a mock uh, Olympics. Uh -huh. And so I went and it was so much fun. It was yeah. really, really right. fun. Hang and, on right uh, there, I have to interrupt you. We'll yeah. do some things here and then yeah. we'll come back. But I wanna, okay. I wanna hear all about, take us through what an what a, a yeah. Olympic archer does, all right? Okay. Okay. We'll be right back here with Gina Davis. <laughs> star of the uh, Gina Davis show that views uh, October 10th. All right, now, I want to hear more about the Olympic competition or, or, or archery competition. Yeah, yeah. I like your idea, by the way, about the drugs um, and the Olympics because, you know what, a couple of beers and the arrow shooting, it really <laughs> you know, goes a little More exciting. Yeah. And, and you can just forget about drug testing, which is really the problem. Exactly. Save a lot of money on drug testing. Well, I, you know everybody's under the influence. So, right. anyway, uh, you know, is yeah. there several rounds? Is Are there special shoes? Do you have to use towel? <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> Very special stuff you have to use. Yeah. No, uh, first you have an, uh, a ranking round. You shoot all day and figure out. Mm -hmm. where but no, no, that's what you shoot a what? How many arrows do you shoot? 70 meters, um, 144 arrows at 70 meters. How many feet is 70 meters? That, that's like a. It's like three quarters of a football field. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, and the, tar and the uh, bullseye is about. That big. That's incredible. And, and, yeah. and the idea, of course, is to get is it consistency and in, in closest right. to the center. Right. And, and is it possible for all of your arrows? You can't hit all bulls. No, I know. no, no. Do you, do you have your own quiver? Do you use a quiver? Yeah, but not in the back. Like really? that's on the hip. You have a guy? Oh, on your, on your hip. Do I have a guy? That has. Uh, <laughs> Miss Davis, arrow. I'm the only one. It's a little embarrassing, okay. yeah. Uh, uh, but, um, but and, I, and I'm told now, and I know very little about uh, everything, but I'm told that, <laughs> that uh, women. Uh, can be very, they're actually better uh, suited for this kind of thing than men because of their metabolism and the, their heartbeat and their blood pressure and so forth. And the idea is you, you shoot between the beat of your heart. Is that correct? I do, yeah. yeah. It's a very advanced skill. I just, I just wait, <laughs> eat, and then I shoot. <laughs> now you're just mocking me now. No! <laughs> no! But uh, do, do women tend to be a little uh, steadier at the, and accurate than men in this uh, sport? Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I thought yeah, I heard yeah, something. Yeah. It was yeah. in, the, in the Reader's yeah, Digest there. Yeah. Uh, and anyway. it, must, it must have been uh, exciting for yeah, you. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, so yeah. what they did was, once you're ranked, you got paired up with somebody that you had to have a one-on-one -on -one competition. And uh, what they did was you, you marched into the the uh, sort of arena there, and they played like a bah, 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 fanfare and stuff, and I really was like, I'm at the Olympics. <laughs> I, was really, I was really into the fantasy. Uh, right. um, but unfortunately, I was matched up with uh, the um, second ranked woman in the world. Um, wow. So she took me out. Yeah, yeah she took yeah. me down hard. Now, are you gonna continue this competitively? Is there a chance that you might qualify for the Olympic team uh, next time we do it? Well, uh, there's certainly a chance that I could um, go to the trials again. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep practicing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and how often do you do it like, at your house? Do you have a thing at your house? I have it actually at the studio. They put a target um, outside the stage. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So tour group groups coming by. Yeah, yeah. That's unbelievable. That's yeah. unbelievable. I, I admire this. I mean, I think this a lot is... of people aren't into archery. I sometimes have to flag the bus down and say, hey, what, watch. But, yeah. um, but, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's not as popular as it used to be. Yeah. Not as big as it was in the 1600s. Exactly. Uh, let's, let's talk about the, uh, the new show. This is just yes. great for you. Congratulations. Did, did you always want a TV show? Well, you know, I did some TV back in the early um, 80s, but it's been, it's been quite a while. Mm -hmm. but, uh, is it harder than making the feature films or not? It's, it, it's hard. It it's moves so fast, as yeah. you well know. And uh, that's very different. I mean, in movies, you just have to memorize a tiny little bit every day. But... Um, in the show, it's really challenging. When I was when I uh, starting out in TV, I did a bunch of cheesy shows like um, Knight Rider and uh, Fantasy Island and st yeah. And uh, uh, I didn't mean to say cheesy. Oh, you did say cheesy, but I, 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 I know it, what you mean. Yeah, yeah. No, but you didn't anyway, mean it, yeah, uh, yeah. did you remember a show called Riptide? It was like on a boat. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I was like a nymphomaniac oceanographer on on one episode. Wow. 
Yeah, you'll be finding that, I'm sure, in your archives. Well, why can't we have a show like that? <laughs> what, what's the problem what's there? What's wrong with that? Um, and you had to ride on a boat for hours to get out to the set. It was just a nightmare. And all the guys had their lines, like, in their coffee cups. And I was like, oh, how unprofessional, yeah. you know? So, but now, you know, I'm, I got them taped to the kids' foreheads. I'm just... <laughs> 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 and it's because there's just so much that you have it's to so do. Much. Just bang, 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 then so knock much. the shows out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a big party for opening night. I thought you were going to say, did you have a big part? Uh, <laughs> 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 um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, big party, yeah. <laughs> it was the Gina Davis show, and you just, you just sort of walk through one part. scene and... <laughs> Know, was, was that Gina Davis? Right. You mean the star of the show? Yeah, I think that was her. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope it's a huge uh, success. Hey. And, and, and it's a set. Is it true? It's set in New York City. It's set in New York. So that means you probably uh, film it here in New York City. Alas, no. Oh. No, in L.A. Well, why don't you move it? You could move it, then you'd be on the show all the time. Yeah, that'd, yeah, be, that'd be fun, that'd be, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Very all right. Good. Uh, October 10th. What time on October 10th? 9.30. Tuesday, 9.30, October yes. 10th. Good luck to you. All my best. The lovely Gina Davis. We'll be back with Tom Cavanaugh.